Hi, fellow elected official, fellow small businesses. Remember, I walked a mile in your moccasins. I was a small businessman, so as the Indians say, I know what it is. I walked in your moccasins. Uh, and of course, greeting to all the uh, media. If you get a chance, try and go look at our new bridge construction on Highland Road. Every day it's starting to look more and more like a bridge. There are a lot of people working on it, much like an army of ants. That's a good thing. The Highland Road Bridge will be done on the schedule in the fall of 2013. The businesses on Highland witness every day how hard we are working to minimize the impact on their businesses. I'm very happy to say that we've had no complaints lately from the businesses there and all of that effort put into signage and notification seems to be doing the job. That does not mean that they are up to par business-wise, so remember they still desperately need us to frequent the retail businesses there. Please patronize them. The businesses see the effort being made by us to get the bridge done on schedule. And I would like to extend our city's gratitude to Kenmore Construction for their hard work ethic. Highland Road Bridge, which is funded 95% by federal dollars on schedule. The city is trying to ease the burden of traffic in Route 82 by not allowing left turns onto the 271 ramp located on the 82. We will have those drivers use the ramp by Bob Evans for 271 North. For the first time in years, we've been able to strike almost every single road in Macedonia Plus, we've sealed more, done more crack sealing than ever before. We have done and will complete by the end of the year over $800,000 of repaving. We've repaved Deepwood, Fort Berkshire, Shepherd Hills, including curb repairs, head handicap ramps, all paid for cash. We have converted sidewalks to make them handicapped accessible. We plan on doing at least 12 a year. And we've repaired 20 catch basins and 12 road culverts. We have 52 homes under construction. As of today, we have five new policemen, five new police cars with a civil service test scheduled to hire more police in October 17th. We have created an all-new playground area for children in Longwood Park, complete with all-new equipment. Go see it. It's great. We are working towards regionalization by dispatching fire and police for the village of Northfield and the village of Boston Heights. We also do Boston Heights CMS. And we are hoping to move forward with all of our neighbors to create a Nordonia Hills Senior Center in our old city hall. We have many businesses relocating to Macedonia because of our centralized location, such as TPC Wire, they do electrical uh, multi-cables, Guardian, they do roofing supply, Bennett Supply, Cabinets and Millwork, Migrant Glass, Auto Glass Storage and Distributing, and Plastic Materials, which was an Akron plastic firm. We have every storefront in Macedonia occupied with such businesses as Popeyes, Aldi's, and Dunkin' Donuts, of course, being the newest. Dunkin' Donuts, Halloween, okay? Well, I'll meet you there, okay? So, with all of this going on, some of our businesses have payrolls in excess of a million dollars. And we even have a discount tire store coming. They'll be located next to Steak and Shake and our good to start next week. Finances. We are steadily increasing our revenue from city income tax from 2009 when we lost over a million bucks. For instance, we are now 18.5% higher than we were at this time last year. Since finishing the road widening and the bridge replacement on Route 82, we continually seem to gain momentum. 
I am expecting more of the same when the Highland Bridge uh, Road Bridge is completed. Real estate tax collections. Macedonia collects 4.99 mils from property taxes compared to 37.6 mils from the school, which they need and which they should get, and 12.6 from the county. This amounts to, in Macedonia, $157.44 a year from a home appraised at 100000 Our city's revenue from city income tax this year is projected to be $7.5 million, which will be over half a million dollars higher than our best year on record. Thank you to all of our businesses and residents who voted for our levy so that we got a shout in the arm to get us out of the gloom and doom dark ages. A small business with a yearly payroll of $200,000 contributes $4,500 in employee withholding and city income tax, which is equivalent by the time you add it all up we get about $450,000, $500,000 a year from real estate tax. So we need our businesses to exist. Why? The real estate tax we get from a small business, and that business I was talking about that brings in $200,000 payroll, it would take 30 homes valued at $100,000 to generate that same amount of money. Our operating tax from real estate is pretty much the same as it was in 1962. We have created a reserve fund with over a half a million dollars in it to cover our legacy costs in addition to an emergency fund with over a half a million dollars in it. The savings the city has realized by freezing union wages, refinancing our debt at lower interest rates, coupled with refinancing our bond debts, added to our reviewing and redoing our health and property insurance has been hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars. Almost $600,000 in insurance and refinancing alone. What's happening to the saved dollars? We're improving our local community infrastructure with projects and equipment purchases totaling over $1.2 million this year. That includes two new salt trucks, plus the street repairs and plus the police car. Our rec center is getting new equipment. It's worked towards re-establishing community pride by having our first fireworks display and family night in years. I'm talking about a government that gives the taxpayers the best paying for their buck. Macedonia's weathered the storm and is on the move. We will continue to serve our residents with the most qualified, professional staff that cares about delivering the best to our residents. Will my staff please rise? Stand up. Thank you very, very much for all that you do. And this is just a portion of our staff. Thank you to the Chamber of Commerce for allowing me this opportunity I think it's all pretty much good news, and I'm very grateful to be here because remember, this is my second life. First one ended this year, and I started another one, and it's good to be here. Thank you.